What is going on, everyone? I am Josh with 625 Media. It is Vlog Sunday. We're going to talk about new looks, new feels. We're going to talk stats, of course. And I'm going to grade myself on the month of July. How well did I do? We'll find out. You're from the attic. And welcome to this one month anniversary edition of Vlog Sunday. We've been doing this for a month now. And I thought, yeah, it's definitely time to give us some grades. So we're going to do some grades here in a little bit. But uh, the first thing I want to mention is that you can follow us on social media. You can follow us, Twitter, at 625 Media. Like our Facebook page, 625. You can follow us on Pinterest, 625 Media. And, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel, 625 Media. So, now that's out of the way, let's talk about what you see. Um, yeah, the attic got a little bit of a makeover this weekend. <laughs> uh, I got tired of looking at the falling panels and the uh, the robin egg blue wall. So, yeah, what do you think of the red? I thought it was appropriate. Now, in person, it looks it, it looks a little bit brighter than what it does on camera because I can see how dark it actually looks behind us. But uh, I thought it might be a good idea to kind of clean up the area a little bit and um, see if I can make it just look and feel a little bit better make it a little more conducive i know i know there's some psychology behind the color red um but i happen to like this color red it's the same color that's in my dining room <laughs> uh so I, I figured i'd give it a shot and if not i can always i can always paint it again i mean that's that's it um speaking of uh, new looks the blog got a little bit of a makeover as well this weekend um i decided that the way that it, it had looked for most of this month I wasn't, I wasn't hundred percent happy with. Um, I had a home page as a landing page that just didn't serve any purpose, didn't serve any function. So I took that out, um, and it's really just a blog now, which is what it should be. I mean, it's not, it's not a main portal right now. Although I, I keep saying that, but it really, it's becoming a. Uh, a more important part of what I'm doing each day. Uh, but I, you know. Wanted to try out a new look. I'm happy with the look and the functionality. Uh, clean it up just a little bit. I'm going to continue to you know assess the different bells and whistles, which we're, we're going to talk about uh, here in a little bit. Now, new content. So my content schedule, Thursday is design, designated for written content, and Sunday is my vlog day, which is why I do vlog Sunday. Uh, but this week, I uh, I didn't follow the script. No, I did a vlog on Thursday. I did a vlog um, as, as, asking some general questions that will tell you if you could technically vlog or not. I mean, it's really a very simple checklist. Do you have gear? Do you have software? Do you have a space to record? And can you speak about the topic that you want to speak about? That's really what the list is. But go ahead, go check out that that vlog from Thursday, um, especially if it's vlogging is something you always wanted to do, but you asked the question, could I vlog? Yes, probably you could, but you've got to say yes to these specific questions first. All right, let's take a look at stats. So we're going to look at the month of July. We got we got a whole month under our belts and it feels good to have, you know, gone through everything for an entire month and um and actually had some progress. Um it's not the progress that I would have liked to have seen, but we had some progress. So, uh page views for the blog for the month of July 207. Um it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you think think of the fact that I only been operating this for a month and I got 200 views. Uh, so I did, I did something right. I mean, that, that number could be 28, but it's 207. So um, I'm doing something right. Uh, we just got to keep that momentum and keep moving forward and expanding our efforts. Uh, top refer Facebook, um, same reason as last time. It's where, where the majority of my following is. Um, ad revenue, nothing paid out. And we talked about this last week, so I'm not going to go into detail other than the fact that I've looked at some other options to help uh, maximize the opportunity or potential uh, for ad revenue on the blog. Uh, but still, we're at zero dollars because there's been nothing paid out. Uh, T-shirt sales ended at 1046. And then user testing, 
So we didn't hit the numbers that I would have wanted um, as far as what was paid out in July. It was only $200 paid out to us. Uh, overall, though, and this includes a payment from, from this month as well, $230. So... You know, it doesn't seem like big amounts, but if you think about that on a month monthly basis, you know, two hundred extra dollars in a month, that's a couple utility bills. I mean, that's I mean, that's very helpful. Or, you know, if you've got your utility bills covered, um, you know, that's paying down some credit card debt. I mean, there there's there's some real real value in that two hundred dollars. So so that's that's good. I, I, I can I can live with that. So what did I learn? What did I learn? So this week, and it's really it's really more an observation than something that I learned because uh, we've talked about social media and being active in social media and all of that. Um, but I need to not just focus on you know being engaged with the group that I have, but I need to work on expanding that circle of influence. Um, what I'm starting to realize is that the people that are following this right now may not be the audience that's going to benefit from this. And it's, I mean, it's not, it's not like I'm the first person to have this revelation. I mean, it's something that I've read in my, in my research and, you know, looking at different blog blogs and reading what other, other bloggers are, are, are going through or went through and, you know, being engaged, but finding your crowd, finding your audience. And I don't know that I found them yet. Uh, so I'm going to continue the efforts to kind to expand that, that, uh, circle of influence, um, through both social media. And I've also, I've also hopped on Reddit. I've, I've never been a big Reddit user. Uh, so I'm learning how to do that, but, uh, there's a lot of subreddits that could, could potentially help me expand, expand that, that viewer base. So um, we'll keep an eye on that and see see how effective it is. Um, I'm not following my schedule, but I'm okay with it. So I learned that I'm okay with not following a schedule. Um, I already knew that, but I, I thought to myself when I when I first made the schedule, I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna follow the schedule. I'm gonna have to. You know, time management is key here. You know, you're run, you're running everything. Um, you know, you got to make sure you stay organized. I didn't follow it all this week. And I still managed to get everything done. Um, that's not going to work forever, though. Especially if one part of this really blows up, I'm going to need to have a much better system. Google Calendar, it's it's a nice it's a it's a nice thing to use, but it's not working for me. So I think I'm gonna I am going to make the move to Outlook and then look at integrating that with a, a OneNote uh, notebook. Um, because I like OneNote and I like the fact that you know all of my office documents I can integrate that into OneNote and and really go full full out project management with that still learning OneNote it's something I started using at work this year uh, so I'm still probably not using it to its full potential but um, but I think using it has been helpful for me um, I enjoy vlogging much more than blogging and that shouldn't be a surprise um, I did a vlog post instead of written post this week. It was about vlogging, so I figured it was probably a good idea to do it in the form of a vlog. Um, it doesn't mean I don't like writing. I do like to write, um, but I think if I can do a vlog, I'm going to do a vlog, and I think I might consider adding in uh, another vlog day to where I can do things like the checklist that I did this week and still produce the written content. Um because I still think a mix is going to be the best way for me to go about at least this part of the hustle. Um, I do have two posts that I wrote. Uh, one I wrote yesterday, um, knocked it out in about an hour, and then I've got one that I wrote last week that are just sitting waiting uh, for a week where maybe I don't have the time to do some written content. Um, but yeah, that's really, really where I am. So we have a month under our belt. And we look at the numbers, we look at the stats, and we're like, okay, that's where it is. But have we really assessed it? Now, I talked about it before, you know, I wanted to grade my progress. I wanted to, you know, do some kind of assessment to really see where I am. And I tried my best to do an honest assessment. Now, I don't know that... It, it, it that it's too harsh or too kind but it's really me thinking about it if I had to grade it here's the letter that I put put to it 
So I've taken taken my overall efforts and then four other categories and put a letter grade to them. And I'm going to show those to you here in a second. Uh, but I've also tried to put positive and negative points for, for both. So that way we can at least have some kind of positive walk away or take away. Uh, from each thing because if it's all negative and one of, one of these categories is 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 bad it's it's bad um, but I want to make sure that you know we keep some positive energy moving forward so that way we don't get too down on ourselves so here's how we did for the month of July in the form of letter grades fancy right all right so overall C minus okay. Um, I say C minus because we are seeing some success with user testing, uh, but that's really more of a side hustle of the side hustles. If you think about it, I'm not really using my skills other than spoken word and the ability to, you know, use technology. Uh, but the other, the other things like T-shirts have become an afterthought. Um, voiceover has been next to next to nothing at this point and we're a month into it and it was the main focus and we'll talk about that here in a second you see that letter grade right so for the blog <clears throat> excuse me blog we're gonna say c just to, just your basic c um finally getting to some content that actually has some substance um i've been very good about being consistent about my posting um and then I've done well in assessing what's there. Now, what that leads to is some is some negatives is that I've tried to squeeze way too much into that dig digital space and I'm constantly having to tweak, remove, add, change around. Um, I've reformatted it three times. I've used three different themes at this point. Um, I'm I like the theme that I have now, uh, but we'll see how I see how I feel in a month. Uh, the good thing is, is that we're still in a in a spot uh, time wise that we're still new and it's not going to cause a bunch of disruption if i just one day decide you know what i want this theme uh, but as we start to grow we'll need to watch that and we'll need to be a little more choosy about you know what what we do as far as how it looks how it feels um need to keep an eye on the ad space make sure that we're not oversaturating things um as far as advertisement goes and then the traffic is continuing to decline, um, and that's related to another another topic here. Voiceover, Whew. that's uh, yeah, I failed. I failed miserably this month when it comes to that. F minus, <laughs> F minus. So there was a lack of effort really overall. Now the only thing that kept it from being like like a like an L or or a P instead of an F. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm talking about letters that are beyond F. Um, is that the con the the blog posts that I do have written that that are waiting to be published uh, are about voiceover. So I at least didn't totally forget about it and tried to write to write some posts. And I talked about it last week. You know, I'm going to write some posts to get the ball rolling. Um, so I wrote a couple posts. I'm thinking about it. It's it was really helpful to try to game plan uh, what I'm going to do as far as the voiceover goes, or you know how I can at approach you know recording my demo. Or, or you know, just reevaluating. Am I ready to do it? Um, it gets me thinking about it, and I can share that that thought process with with the rest of you. T-shirts. So the highest grade on the list, C plus. So we had a lot of a lot of good momentum in, in the beginning. Um, I was able to get six designs out. It did start to slow down as we moved through the month, um, and you know, we got to mid month, and after that, just kind of. Yeah, we got these T-shirts out there. Nothing, nothing more has really happened, and I'm afraid that it, that's a uh, that's a uh, result of losing interest, which brings up an interesting an interesting question I have to ask myself: How do I get how do I get interested in this again? Because I want this to be a revenue stream for me, and you might call it passive. It's not really that passive, though. I mean, you're doing the design work, you're doing the marketing. It's just that you know you're like I'm. I'm hooked up with Amazon. They're going to do the rest of it, but I've got to put in the the effort there to to get the word out to get people to actually go there. Then social media. This has been something we've talked about each week. Uh, I gave myself a C. Um, Could have probably give myself a C minus. Uh, but I went C because I am looking at a lot of different ways to make uh, make 
the best of my time when it comes to posting to social media, a lot of automation. Um, now, I say automation. I've got to do the scheduling, but I'm not sitting there posting things constantly over and over again. You know, I can spend I can spend 20 minutes scheduling some things for the week. Mm, excuse me. Anyway, I can I can schedule some things for the week and then come back each week and do that and, you know, leave it alone. Let it let it go. Um, an occasional share here and there wouldn't help. Um, but I'm not. And we talked about it just a minute ago. I'm not making any any real efforts to expand my my fan base or my circle of influence. Um, engagement has been something that I again, I struggle with. We're going to talk about that here in a second. And networking. I'm starting to network a little bit. Trying to just you know get get my name out there with some other people and ask for some advice, ask for some help, uh, give them some advice if you know it's something I've run into. Uh, so I'm hoping that those efforts will will bring that up. Uh, but it wasn't that I wasn't engaged. So C, you know, I I did the minimum. I, I get a passing grade. So those are our grades for July. I hope to bring those up a lot more, especially the voiceover. I'm putting my mouse over it like you can see me like circling it. But voiceover was really, really rough for me this month. And it wasn't because it wasn't because of anything, anything particular other than the fact that, you know, I was just so focused on the blog and getting it to a point where it was running and something you actually want to look at something you want to you you know you want to engage with which is uh which is really the struggle at this point again we're still new so we'll see we'll see if any trends emerge as far as being able to be engaged uh so i really want to talk about social media a little bit more before before we go and you know i've talked about engagement i've talked about you know, how important it is for really the the marketing aspect of, you know, the blog or, you know, anything that I might be working on because I don't want to just be a blogger. I don't want to just be a voiceover artist. You know, I, I hope that this parlays into some other fun projects that I can share with you. Um, but if I'm not, if I'm not making more connections on social media, it's not going to get there. And I was reading a blog post this morning. Um, I just happened. I just happened to run across it. I was just browsing through Pinterest real quick just to see because that's really it is a search engine, and I would call Pinterest like basically a blog search engine because a lot of those pins are links to blog posts, and I like to read others other perspectives on different the different aspects of running a blog or running a side hustle. And I ran into a post this morning that talked about, it really talked to, it it started to talk about being genuine online. And that can be hard because a lot of us that jump into something like a blog or a side hustle, it's not necessarily because we just want to you know, share our thoughts and feelings or the, because we like to just create things. And for some of us, it does, it, it is. And part of it for me is I like to create. I like to create digital content. Um, but the whole reason I'm here is because I want to make extra money. And <laughs> I mean, I, I've made that no secret. Uh, but the, the, the post was talking about you jump into it for, for the money and you and you get into these, you know, follow these steps and you'll have, you know, you'll, you'll make $10,000 a month with your blog. And it's more about following what other people are doing and just duplicating what other people are doing, uh, which we've talked about a little bit. And I wrote about in the, in the content idea, um, blog post that I posted a couple weeks ago. Um, a lot of what's been done has been done and it's been done over and over again. Um, but it doesn't mean that you can't be genuine about what you're doing, uh, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm not trying to just write posts or do vlogs about things that I find interesting. Um, I'm kind of getting away from the advice that, you know, my content needs to help you. It needs to offer you something always, uh, because I think that's going to be a byproduct of what I'm really trying to convey out there and that is what what am I doing and what are the lessons that we're learning from that 
So yes, there's a lot of I involved here, which from what I've read and most people agree in in this is that when you're talking about I, 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 um, good luck making this a revenue stream. But I think the talking about the I and the things that I have experienced and the lessons that come from those experiences, I think kind of counteracts that. I hope it does. If not, I need to rethink what I'm doing. Um, But anyway, this blog post, after talking about being genuine, really goes into some of the thoughts that you have as, as an introvert. Wait, what? Introvert? (laughs) Yes. So I am introverted. It, I don't know. It may not seem like it because I'm I'm more than willing to get in, get in front of a camera every every week and display myself to the internet, but I'm the only one in the room, and it's much easier for me to talk about things if it's just me speaking and I don't have the eyeballs and there there aren't the presence around me. It's not because I lack confidence. Um, it's not because I don't like people. It's just that I'm very introverted. Um, at, at times I, you know, I know how to, I know how to turn it on when I need to. Um, but for the most part, I'm an introvert and social media or the lack thereof, the activity can be a byproduct of that because you are putting yourself out there in the public. Um, you know, people are in your business. They, they know what you're doing. They know what you look like. They, you know, they see, they see and hear all, which is essential Uh, for activity like this, but it can be very difficult. It can be a huge barrier. And we talked about, you know, I need to get over the hurdle and and do more engagement. Um, I'm finding it hard, not because I don't want to. I do want to, Um, but there's always that, oh, I'm putting myself out there. Do I really want people to know what I'm doing. And then there's the other side of it, you know, am I good enough? You know, I, I talked about that in one of my first posts, you know, telling your brain to just, to just shut up and, and just do it. And I've, I've, that part of it, I've done really well with, um, I've managed to keep the confidence, keep, you know, keep moving forward with all of that. Um, but being an introvert makes it really hard to, to market digital, um, or market digital, digitally. So, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask the extroverts out there or, or the introverts that have, that have conquered this barrier, what things do you do to keep yourself engaged? What do you do? What do you think? What is your thought process? Is there a thought process? It's just your personality. It just allows you to share everything. I, it's... It's a really interesting question. I'd like to know if there's anything that I might be able to try to do uh, personally so that way <clears throat> so that way I can get beyond this barrier and I can do this expansion of my circle of influence because that's really probably what's going to hold me back. My own need to be private and be secluded. I shouldn't say secluded because, you know, I, I don't just want to hang out in my attic all day. I mean, I like to go do things. Uh, but engaging engaging people for things other than some kind of meaningful meaningful connection or meaning, meaningful, you know, relationship. Um, because that's really that's really one of the traits of an introvert. And when I read that and that that blog co- uh, post quoted that said, you know, it, you know, I'm seeking meaningful relationship with other people. Um it's so true. Like small talk, good mornings, things like that. They're hard for me. They're hard for me to do because it's, it's, it's just superficial. It's me going, yeah, I acknowledge your existence because I don't want you to think I hate you. Um, <clears throat> that's, that's really what it is. I mean, if I don't have anything meaningful to gain from it, it's, it's hard. It's hard to do. So I'd like to know what you do what what kind of mindset you've adopted to be able to get beyond that barrier uh, because I'd like to see this grow I'd like to see this be successful I'd like to like to know that I haven't wasted everyone's time <laughs> doing this um, I don't think it's a waste of time but you know we get six months down the road and I'm still talking about ten dollars and t-shirt sales 
<laughs> it's time to rethink the direction in life, <laughs> I, I think. Um, but I'm having fun doing it. I'm having fun talking to you uh, on, on, on my Sundays. I'm having fun creating content. Um, now I need to have fun doing the things that I've neglected. Um, real quick before we go, because we're about that time, I keep telling myself to quit rambling, but we're at 25 minutes. Um, I am going to be focusing on the voiceover this week. Um, I need to record a demo, and I think what I'm going to do is actually get some video of that and share that with you guys, uh, just so you can see what it's like to be a one man army in an attic trying to do professional a professional demo. Um, and then uh, this Thursday we'll have some written content on on record or on uh, you know what I should do to do some voiceover or you know how where do I start um, and it's really from a uh, a newbie's point of view because I'm a newbie at, at, at this really being a free uh, freelance voiceover artist I'm a newbie so here here is what my mind said when it was time to to actually go and do this so look for that on Thursday maybe we'll pop in some extra content this week who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, but that's really all I've got uh, got for you this week. If I can even get it out, and we may go on for another ten minutes if I if I can't say it. Uh, but once again, please make sure that you're following us on on the social medias: Twitter at six twenty five media, Facebook like our page six twenty five, Pinterest six twenty five media, and subscribe to the YouTube channel six twenty five media. That's how you're going to know what we're doing. And then you know, share all of this with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with random people. Just just put it right in their, right in their messages. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> all right, so it's a beautiful Sunday. I'm done recording for this Sunday. Yeah, that's all I got. So I'm Josh with 625 Media. This has been Vlog Sunday on From the Attic. I'll see you next week.